Hi guys, uh, just a quick preview in regards to the Leeds game coming up on the weekend. to this game and um, hopefully we can get something out of it and continue our, uh, our run at the moment of winning so many games. Uh, Leeds are without quite a few players at the moment, some key players, Bamford I believe still injured, Calvin Phillips is 50-50 whether he can play and I think from what I've read that he's not going to uh, be able to uh, make, make, make the, uh, the starting line up for Leeds. Um, Leeds haven't had really uh, that much of a good um, run. They've only won one game. Um, and I know a lot of Leeds fans that are really frustrated at the moment uh, due to such a bad injury crisis. Um, at the moment, Trincao's back in training, so he's going to be able to play if required. Um, and um, I think from what we saw from Podence from last week, a lot of people are going to be pushing to see Podence in the lineup. Um, so um, maybe um, from from what I can see, Raul should be back now. He's had plenty of rest since Mexico. Um, wingers, uh, I reckon we most likely see Podence and Adima, um, and uh, potentially Hoang uh, because he didn't have such a great game as a sub. Uh, same for Trincao. Um, I think um, Den Donker may have done enough to get in the starting lineup. Um, he didn't look amazing in the first sixty to seventy minutes, but at the end of the game, he really did help with the goals. Um, so it'll be really down to the manager now to make a decision. But for me, Den Donker and Neves, or Den Donker and Matinho uh, may start. Um, but I can't see it being Matinho and Neves again, not after uh, Donk was so crucial in helping us with those goals. Um, and there's a lot of fans that want Marcel to be dropped, uh, potentially it Nori given a chance. Um, so so maybe we'll see it Nori in. And he, he's got such a good pace, hasn't he, down the side of the wing, wing that we kind of need. Marcel's lacking a little bit of at the moment. I do like, like Marcel, I think he's had quite a lot of slack, he hasn't had um, fantastic games, um, but the first three or four games he did, um, so we'll see what happens, uh, but for me, um, at the moment, Kilman and Jose Sarr are the two top standout players so far this season, um, both been amazing, Jose Sarr, really good ball distribution, um, and he's looking like he can really uh, stop a good shot, um, almost as well as Patricio, maybe the same Let's see how the season ends, but at the moment he's looking a really good addition to the squad. Uh, and Kilman has really stepped up and done really well. Can't knock Cody as well. Uh, a lot of people are saying Saiz was uh, to, to blame for the first goal. So potentially we may see him come in, uh, be dropped for Bolly. Um, a lot of people want to see Bolly. It is a shame because Saiz did get that goal and really fought back with us. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But I really do think we can get something out of this game. Um, we haven't had the best form up to the 80th minute. Um, so maybe um, they can uh, work on that training. Didn't really have much time, did they, after the international break. Um, but uh, players back uh, in a good mood off a win. I think we can get something out of this game. Leeds are a tough team, but we used to do quite well against them. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a 2-1 win. I think we, we can get three points from this. I'm going to put you over to Leeds Fans TV now and they're going to talk to you about the game and the latest from them. How are we doing guys? It's Oscar from Wall East TV and I'm here to do a quick opposition preview from Wall East TV ahead of the Leeds versus Wolves game. So yeah, it's not been an ideal start to the season for us, it's um, fair to say. Um, I think obviously in pre-season, yeah, we were struggling a little bit performances-wise, conceding a lot of goals and it's just sort of carried on into this season. Um, you know, Obviously it's not ideal to be where we are in the table. We're not used to this under Marcelo Bielsa. You know, the first three seasons, we've made fantastic starts to the season. You know, we've been up there, you know, every single season. Um, really performing well, getting the results. And unfortunately, that, that's not really happened this season so far. But I think I've seen enough in this Leeds team to say that we'll be OK. You know, in terms of in moments in games, we've, you know, we've played actually quite well. Um, you know, nowhere near overall being what we, are, what we have been in previous seasons. But we have actually played quite well in spells of games. Um, especially at home, I think we've done okay. And I think the quality-wise, you know, Melier and Rafinha in both boxes, real difference makers for us this season. I think Rafinha's pretty much producing moments of magic on a weekly basis now. Uh, Melier's been absolutely outstanding. I think being one of the best keepers in the league so far this season in terms of shot stopping and just keeping us in games at times. But, um, but yeah, I think there's enough now this Leeds team. And of course, Calvin Phillips, who is so key. You know, last weekend, I think, was probably the most disappointing of the, of the season so far at Southampton. Not just because we lost the game 1-0. That's probably the, the 
least of our worries. I think the performance was particularly poor. Three shots on goal, no shots on target. Um, some of the worst attacking stats under a Marcelo Bielsa team. Um, certainly from Bielsa's time at Leeds. So, so it was very, very worrying. But we did have Phillips, Rafinha, Bamford missing. Luke Halen as well. And I do think if you take four of your most experienced and best players out of your team, you're always going to be affected, especially outside the top six. So, and I think that's what happened to us, really. So, I'm not me personally, I'm just looking forward to the Wolves game. I just think we need this game to come as quickly as possible so we can bounce back. But this Wolves team, you know, I don't know why I'm looking forward to this game because Wolves are a very, very good team. You know, they did the double over us last season. I think they've improved massively on last season under Bruno Lager so far. Uh, Ruben Neves, I think it's gone up another level. I think most of the Wolves players have gone up another level. And I think you're a very high pressing team, certainly compared to last season. You do seem to press a lot higher and a lot more regularly. And we have struggled against high pressing teams this season. You know, if you see that Southampton game, we struggled to play through the press. So there might be moments, for, well, there will probably be moments for this Wolves team. Um, and I think it will be a very good open game of football. I'm just hoping we'll have that enough of a boost from having Rafinha back and Phillips back to the team. I think they make such a big, big difference, you know, those two. I think they're absolutely critical for us. And yeah, I think it's really told in the results. Our home form, to be fair, as I said earlier in the video, I think we've played actually pretty well at home or OK at home. Certainly better than we have done away from home. Uh, we probably should have got more points than what we actually have done so far based on the performances. Um, it's one win, two draws and two defeats for us so far at home this season. Um, the defeats coming against Liverpool and West Ham. So good teams, that kind of thing. So yeah, we had, we, and that West Ham game, yeah, we were good in that first half, especially. So, yeah, I feel OK going into that game. Um, I think as long as we can get something from this game, it just gives us that, you know, just gives us a couple a point on the board and that little bit more moment, momentum. Um, and that's what I think we need more than anything, really. Um, I think it is all about momentum at this stage of the season. Obviously, Wolves know last season, you know, it wasn't an ideal one for you either. Um, you know, it is all about momentum at this stage. In terms of where I think we can hurt Wolves, I think it's got to be um, Rafinha on the right-hand side, you know, up against, obviously, you know, you play that back three shape still. Um, it looks like a 3-4-3. Three, three. I think the, sh the space between Roman Saiz and uh, Marcel um, from the left side is centre-back to the left-back. I'm hoping Rafinha can get at that. Uh, I think he has done all season. Um, and I'm hoping that you do leave a bit of space for Rafinha. Bamford's going to be key as well. We need that pressing from the front. Rodrigo has come in. You know, he's showing glimpses of quality. I think he's a quick, clearly a quality player. The former Spanish number nine, as we say now. He did say Spanish number nine last season, but he is the former Spanish number nine now. Um, but yeah, we need that pressing from the front, 100%. I'm not sure who will play on the left, whether it, be, whether it will be James or Harrison. Um, I'm, I would like to see Harrison, um, just that natural width. But, you know, if you look at the results, you'd logically say Wolves are the strong, strong favourites for this game. But I still think you can't rule out this Leeds team at home, um, especially if we have got the key players back in. Phillips is so key as well for us being able to play through your press. Um, and in that midfield battle against Neves and Moutinho, you need a Calvin Phillips in there. who can put his foot on the ball and that's going to be so, so key. But I am expecting a very, very good open game of football. Two teams that can produce real moments of quality. And I think the signs are there with this Leeds team. We just need to get... That one big result, and I just think it will build a bit of momentum at that point for this Leeds team. But um, but yeah, that's my feelings on this game. Uh, been a big fan of what Wolves have done so far this season. Obviously, it wasn't a great start to the season for you. We're losing those first three games. But you saw from those first three games that it was very clear that Wolves were going to turn it around. Performances-wise, they were definitely there. And I just think as soon as Wolves get Raul Jimenez scoring goals on a regular basis or Pedro Neto into the team, I do personally think Wolves will be... Yeah, we'll, I think we'll be pushing for a European place. You know, top six, top seven, I think it's very much possible. You just need to get those, the best, very best out of the attacking players you've got and obviously get Neto back from injury. But um, but don't do it ahead of this weekend if you can, if you can avoid it, guys. And that would be very much appreciated. I've been Oscar from All East TV. Thank you very much for watching. See you later, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.